Good afternoon, y'all. David Atkins, Target Individual. Today, I'm going to be talking about different torture techniques that um, I'm going to be talking about Medusa program, the Christ program. They got some sick names for these things. They name them after their spirituality stuff. You know, Satan, Christ, Medusa, Alice, the Wizard of Oz. I mean, they got names for these programs, and they name them all these fantasy names. Then, But they all stand for something. Like this Christ program stands for Common Human Routines Interference interference software technology. And I'm going to get into that in a minute, but first I'm going to read my Bible verse. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 and 10. This is Paul talking, and he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I will glory in my infirmities, and the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, and reproaches, and necessities, and persecutions, and distress for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen. Uh, anyway, look. All right, the Christ program, or common hu routine human routines interference software technology. Conform or be destroyed. You're with us or against us. Subtext of those who are not independent thinkers. The acronym stands for the Behavioral Pattern Prediction and Classification Software and a coveted database whose initial control was by CS CIA NSA located in Colorado, according to Dr. B.F. Skinner at Harvard. It started off as a profiling tool, but expanded into information awareness and a way to data mine for various groups, behavior patterns, spies, and possible dissidents. Christ, Common Human Routines Interference Software Technology, is a personality segmentation program which uses many factors. But in recent decades, it's become feasible to add credit card purchases, other shopping patterns, interest groups, travel, lifestyle, web browsing patterns, phone email speech prints, TV watching patterns, books and movies. This develops a full picture of the individual and human networks. Newer technology allows GPS tracking of individuals, their routine patterns, speaking patterns, and word choice. This is total information awareness of individuals. With a remote mind monitoring, even sleeping patterns can be tracked. And here he goes in the silent assassination through adapted networks. Satan, you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free, said Aldous Huxley. We've been trying to con concentrate evil as humans, to understand it, to create weaponry that attacks the information systems of the brain and body. I didn't know what we were fully doing at the time I served. I regret what I did. That's from a former DARPA scientist. He regrets what he did. The basic compact b concept behind the b best silent assassination is not to stage a suicide, but to cause one. These people that are doing this call themselves, calls it, calls themselves manipulous murder suicide. This is just one objective of the weapon system with the acronym Satan. This is the equivalent in physical renditions of torture of a subject every day while leaving a gun by his side in a contained room, then the torture claiming I'm not responsible for their death. They killed themselves. It's equivalent to put a knife in somebody's hand, grabbing their hand, and then forcing them to stab themselves. One must understand their enemy in order to defeat, defend against, and defeat them. This system's very aptly named Satan. Only through severe leaks in the intelligence community was the precise and accurate acronym for this system and techniques is uncovered. It is strange how biblical prophecy, science, military, technology, and sociology seem to converge at this point in time of our species development. Torture is a strange topic to understand. Trauma-based conditioning can break down the will of any human like breaking a horse. Psychologists have stated that every traumatic event weakens the individual for similar future stress. That is not always the case. The military has a program called SEER, S-E-R-E, which gives operatives some experience of what the torture might be like. It's supposed to harden them against torture methods. Stress conditioning techniques can both sensitize or desensitize the subject to stressful events such as lying, fight or flight biological responses so that they can be more logical and effective, forced to tell the truth or give up their will to avoid more stress. War is hell. The mind cloning sat tru um, satanic cult truly has done a deal with the devil. The religious metaphor is exceptionally appropriate with this weapon system. The psychic warrior gives up their soul while heterodyning with a host mind as well as typically unwilling hosts. This was the inspiration for the book Project Soul Catcher. Their information patterns that make them up are significantly altered with combined collective mind hive mind, mind, mind configuration with one mind trying to overwield the power of the other. One must truly hate what they are to agree to alter their soul significantly. Satan made me do it has become popular folklore as an excuse for many horrific crimes. In many mind hacking cases, the words could not be truer than the acronym of the weapon system controlling their thought processes during the crime spree. Review the section on the new kinds of crimes the justice systems around the world do not yet recognize that respond from the abuse of this technology. 
And right now they got my ears popping like I'm on an airplane. You know, when you hit the altitude, they're doing that and they're burning my right side of my head. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to deal with it. I, I'm learning. The harder they've been hitting me lately, you know, you can adapt. And sometimes it gets so bad, you got to go get, why get a water bag? I can't afford no lead apron. So they say the lead aprons work. Don't quote me on that because I don't want you to go out and buy a lead apron and then it don't work. But I've heard a lot of people say it does. So I have walked through the valley of the shadow of death, Psalm 23. The purpose of the Satan program is the behavior modification to death, useful, silent, useful and silent, plausible deep denial, mass murders, and eugenics, training the targets for ever known Detrimental behavior to shorten life in the diabolical method used for silent kills and large eugenic social engineering. Even all survival instincts can be erased. The field of study death, this field of study of death is called thanatology. Thanatology examines all aspects of death, including biological, cessation of uh, psychological processes, psychological, cognitive, emotional, and behavior responses, and social, historical, culture, and legal issues. In order to avoid a lawsuit, we won't name Several Pentagon officials and CIA scientists that are thanatologists, with the exception of Colonel, that started a division of satanic cult, cult called the Church of Satan, whose leader was Colonel Aquino and who later worked for the NSA. He's retired now. This was an experiment to create tortures and assassins with sociopathic behaviors. Death merchants to soldiers of fortune is not a new concept in warfare. A Yale professor conducted experiments on how normal morality of people can be subverted when authority figures command them to do the unthinkable. One can see this in, uh, in this in operation by common justification. I'm just doing my job. Accompanying this technology comes many layers of indirection. The jargon and language used in CIA uh, satanic cults, both military-based and mythological, mythological black magic-based, are coincidence by design to mimic the occult. By substitution of the language of mythology for the intelligence agency's language creates a bar barrier in the case leak from those who perpetrate and that those that develop the technology and scripts. Satanic cults is a mean to indoctrinate, manipulate pride and evil. Deeds for government objectives was created by Colonel Michael Aquino. Here's a brief list of explanations for some of the verbiage used in the satanic cults and intelligent agencies for equivalent. So he's, what he's saying is intelligent agencies copy off these cults and use their verbiage on their weapon to name their weapons and their techniques they use. Okay, cast a spell or a hex. This means run the Satan program or the silent adaptive, silent assassination through adaptive networks program on them. Like dark cloud tactics of perceived bad luck and correlation matrix of detrimental behavior modifications for human survival. Possessed with a demon, Alice and Tammy. Tammy means thought and mind interface. Chatterboxes with negative vocabulary or real time psychic warriors as they call it can do the trick. Demons that distract and destroy. And what he's talking about there is Okay, possess of the demon. All right, you got pos demon possession and, and satanic cults and Christianity and all, all over different religions. Well, they mimicked it, and their demon possession is when they hit you with voices and make you seem crazy to everybody and make you think you're, you're possessed. So I'm just trying to explain this to you. All right, let's go. Medusa. Medusa turned people to stone. Hypnosis in the army zombie projects are equivalent to keeping their victims in internal mental turmoil so they can't do or think anything for themselves. This is subjectively perceived mental war that can never be won or extreme debilitating fear. See Medusa crowd control vice and the voice of God weapons. And before I go any further, I did print something off on Medusa earlier in chapter for y'all. I'm going to explain Medusa. Microwave ray gun controls the crowd. A U U.S. company claims it is ready built a microwave ray gun able to beam sound directly into people's head. This device dubbed Medusa. Mob excess deterrent using silent audio. Exploits a microwave audio effect in which short microwave pulses rapidly heat tissue causing a shock wave inside the skull that can be detected by the ears. A series of pulses can be transmitted to produce recognizable sounds. The device is aimed for military and crowd control applications but may have other uses. Lev Savinik of Sierra Nevada Corporation in the U.S. is working on the system, having started work on a U.S. Navy research concert, contract. The Navy's report states the effect was shown to be effective. Medusa involves a microwave auditory effect loud enough to cause a discomfort or incapacitation. It says that normal audio safety limits do not apply so the sound does not enter through the eardrums. The repel effect is microwave combination of loudness and irritation Factor, he says, you can't block it out. 
Sign says the device will work thanks to new reconfigurable antenna developed by colleague Vladimir Manasan. It steers the beam electronically, making it impossible to flip from a broad to a narrow beam or aim at multiple targets simultaneously. Zadovic said the technology could have non-military applications. Birds seem to be highly sensitive to, to microwave auto, audio, he says, so it might be used to scare away unwanted flocks. Sutton has also experienced with transmitting microwave audio to people with outer ear problems that impair normal hearing. Brain damage risk. James Lynn, electrical and computer engineer in uh, Illinois, said Medusa is feasible in principle. He has carried out his own work on the technique and was even approached by the music industry about using microwave audio to enhance sound system. And he told the scientists, but it's going to be possible at the power levels. He asked, is it going to be possible? Okay. Previous microwave audio tests involved very quiet sounds that were hard to hear. A high-powered system would emit more powerful and potentially dangerous shock waves. I would worry about what other health effects it is having, says Lynn. You might, need, see, you might see neural damage. Sierra Nevada says a demonstration version could be built in a year with transportation of victim, with transportable system falling within 18 months. They're currently seeking funding for the work from the U.S. Department this stuff was used on me in 2014. My radiation first started, and this this thing was in July 8, 2008. This article, and I'm gonna get back to the rest of the weapons. I mean, we rest of these names, sirens. And if you knew sirens, and um, uh, they were kind of like women, but they wasn't women. They were mirages, and they were in mythology, and they would scream and or lure people in. Sirens lure listeners to their death. They need to know the truth is to lure. Trickery scripts like just take your medicine. We're here to help you. Play a similar role by your CIA scripts. Psychological vampires suck the life force out of a person. This is done by inducing long-term dread, loss of hope, and breakdown of the human spirit. It's the ultimate purpose of all brainwashing and enhanced interrogation techniques. Obviously, the full list of superstition metaphor, which is commonly used, is much more extensive, but the reader can get the gist of how... The head games are played at several level, levels. And here's a side note, and I'm going to close it. And it's an interview with a current CIA operative in China. Interviewer, I'm surprised you were part of the company. Have, I'm surprised you being part of the company. have never heard of MK Ultra. Interviewee, I didn't know we had this technology. It makes sense to me now. We have acquired sense of intelligence. I only try to recruit human intelligence, but I know you must write your book as fiction or it will be censored. I'm good. You're for, I'm a good friend, but this scares me. I would hate to have you as my enemy. They will use you for any purpose they want. Interviewer, don't you think perhaps they have overturned every American value and disgraced our country by what they're doing? Interviewee, the conversation's over. Interviewer, slightly irritated. I suppose real virtue and courage are rare in this country these days. I pray for your soul. A country that continues without its values and character is nothing of value. And remember, all tyranny needs to get foothold for its people, good conscience, to do nothing. The interviewer is part of the mind hacking strategy group. And that's where they ran, um, that's when they were testing, or the mind hacking strategy group, the way I understand it was where they they were testing the stuff out on people. So anyway, um, that's all I got today. Man, I've been getting hit hard. Uh, but if you are getting hit in the head with no, and burning up in the head, tax of the head with no burns or nothing because a lot of people get burns but if you're getting hit inside the head microwaves inside the head one thing that works for me i'm going to keep saying it you can try it i don't you want to double the, the ziploc bag up i wish i had it with me um and you want to lay down and put it over your head just put the fill it up water about that much across you don't want to fill it all the way up and you let the water just sli just kind of slide all the way over your head where it's all or the but you know you know what i'm saying anyway but yeah, and just lay down, just let it come over your head and try to breathe in your nose, take deep breaths like in your nose, out your mouth, but keep your nose clean, uh, your mouth closed when you're breathing through your nose. But don't, don't do them breaths too much because you'll get lightheaded and dizzy. But you, and, and when you're panicking, when it's starting to happen, you just go about three or four. And every now and then when you catch yourself panicking or tense again, just stop and do that. It helps. I'm telling you. Anyway, I'll, I'm going to, I'm, I'm probably going to switch it up from his book tomorrow. Um, I don't want y'all getting bored and I, and I, I need to be putting some more. I'm, I'm researching scalar waves because that's really what I think they're using on me. Um, 
but yeah, so tomorrow I'm I don't I am not gonna promise you what it'll be a video tomorrow, but I just don't know what yet. I haven't decided. But thanks and God bless.